up, shit smokers? This is Long Ashes, CrapCigar.com, and with me as always is Punch. Punch it up. And Nubs. What's going on? And uh, this week's cigar we're reviewing is, uh, hopefully not another crappy cigar, is the Dominican Estates. And it's uh, from the uh, Matassa factory. It's made by uh, Manuel Casada, the same uh, person who created the Casa Magna and the Fonseca uh, blends. And apparently it's the same Dominican tobacco uh, that's in those blends. I don't know if we can really believe that or not, but I guess once we start smoking it, we might find out. Um, this is a natural wrapper, and it's a Toro size. They, they call it a 6x50 a Toro. Uh, $34.99 for a bundle of 20 These things start at about $1.50 a piece. So uh, not, not a bad price. Uh, hopefully not a bad cigar. Uh, we already clipped it. I smelled it. I didn't really get much of the smell of anything. No, it's it, there's something there, but it's real, real faint. <clears throat> yeah, barely there. What do you think about the construction? The construction looks solid enough. Yeah. Doesn't it's look definitely con- so yeah, consistent. Yeah, a few little blemishes there. Yep. Uh, but it looks tight. It's a little rough. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, this doesn't look it's kind of. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? Looks like it's got wet or something. Right yeah, there. yeah, this is looking a bit rough. Oh my god. Ugh. But other than that, they call some cigars toothy. That's definitely a toothy look. Yeah, toothy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's like someone put their tooth all over is what it is. <laughs> ah! I don't know, yours and mine are looking pretty solid. Yeah, yours are a little bit darker than mine. Yeah, the colors I was just are slightly inconsistent right. there, but... I, you can kind of tell that these yeah, are all can, natural. Yeah, totally yeah let's, let's zoom that in. Real I don't quick. know if you'll. Be, I don't think you'll be able to see that on camera, but maybe not. Uh, let's see. A little bit. Yeah. There's the difference there. This is the cigar. Oh. The Drew Estate. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and light this up and smoke it. And uh, when we come back, hopefully we have some good things to say about it, and hopefully it's not crap. Hey, we're back, and uh, smoking the Dominican Estate Cigar. Thank you, T- Tyler Albright. Another shout-out for you again for these cigars. Unfortunately, uh, I'm going to have to say that I disagree with Tyler's opinion of these. He said that these are one of the ones that you know, he picks up that are a good daily deal for, for himself or daily smokes. I'm just not getting it. Uh, really freaking tight draw. I mean, it's like the inner cheeks of my mouth. No, not my ass. Are like, <laughs> like touching each other when I'm smoking this damn thing. And I'm getting like almost no smoke out of it. And what little smoke I get out of it, there's absolutely no taste whatsoever. Uh, you know, maybe if there was no taste and it was a good draw, I could say that it might be a yard guard. But right now, as it stands, this thing's a fucking dog turd. Yeah. I'm right there with you on that one. The, the, the tight draw is really annoying. It's and absolutely no flavor. Smoke and air over here. This is a piece of shit. I'm sorry, Tyler. Uh, props for giving us uh, the, these cigars, but yeah, props, man. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know what you're thinking when you're smoking these because I'm not getting the same thing either. Uh, how can you smoke these things? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're doing it for the review, but damn. I mean, if one of us had a tight draw, then I'd say it's an inconsistency, but all three of us have it, so yeah. it's... Yeah. And this has been properly hum- humidified, mm-hmm. uh, you know, for a good month now, too, so... Just kind of disappointed in this one. No, it's, it's like, uh, while we were smoking it there, uh, Long Ashes was... I was shutting the construction on my cigar, and it's got, like, blemishes, like... The the wrapper is like coming undone. It's got it's got fucking runners in it. And oh, sorry about that. Excuse my language. Um, <laughs> and your excuse. They they called it uh, what'd you call it? Toothpick or something like that. Hmm? What would what, you say? What'd you say that was? Toothy. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Said toothy cigar. And it's like someone's fucking chomping on the damn thing. Might as well fucking smoke a toothpick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably get more flavor out of yeah, it. Yeah, no doubt. Unless you get like a minty flavor to it or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but. Might get some weird looks, but. Hard draw, no flavor. It's like smoking air. I'm dying here trying to get some fucking smoke out of this mm-hmm. damn thing. I'm not sure if we're going to get to the nub or not. 
no flavor so far and bad draw, so. We'll probably smoke real slow. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you're looking for a slow smoke with uh, no flavor and, uh, you know, oxygen deprivation, then uh, Dominican Estates is your cigar, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> All, of course, our opinion. Yeah. You know, you might think something different, so. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to get the wrong idea that we're, like, trying to slander anything here. But, uh, you know, we're going to keep smoking this, and uh, when we come back, hopefully the draw's fixed itself, but it'll probably be too little too late by that time, and uh, hopefully we get some kind of fucking taste out of this thing. Hopefully it's not shit. Be back in a second. We're back here with the, um, what is this one again? The Dominican Estates. Dominican Estates, and this is absolute shit. Uh, the draw oh, yeah. is, is still really, really tight. Uh, usually on tight draws, it, they, they tend to get better towards the nub, not even close on this one. Uh, still no flavor, that's another thing uh, with cigars that sometimes they start out with no flavor and then it builds towards the nub, not so with this one. Um, I, I see absolutely no value in smoking this cigar, not even for a dollar fifty. It's, it, I mean honestly it's more work than anything, so you would have to pay me to smoke this, that's, that's my opinion. What do you think guys? Yeah, uh, I agree. Uh, the things, things fucking falling apart on me as I'm talking here. And <laughs> just falling out of the ground. Tight draw the whole time. No taste whatsoever until the very end, and it's actually starting to get kind of a nasty taste there a little bit. Yep. Uh, it's fucking falling apart on me. Uh, burn's been even, I guess you could say. I mean, mm -hmm. I didn't really have to work at that really, but. Uh, you know what? No, I take that back. I've hit, I've hit it with the lighter a few times too, so it's got. A little bit of a burn issue, and uh, you know, it had like some weird spots all over, like mold or whatever. I was, was telling Punch it looked like the fucking Michael Jackson of cigars or something. <laughs> looked like it was a black cigar trying to be white. I don't know. It like, <laughs> it's kind of like silver and shiny. It's coming and, through, you know, yeah, it's like, I don't even know what the hell that's all about. It's got some kind of skin disease or something on this yeah, wrapper. It does. <laughs> I'm a little worried about what but, we're smoking here, honestly. Uh, or uh, uh, if you can actually see that. In the camera, that is, yeah, the wrapper's popping up on it. Freaking falling. I mean, yeah, this it, is nasty. It, this, this definitely is probably one of the shitty shit category. I would say. I mean, yeah. I took the label off. It rips some tobacco off too. I mean, what the fuck? There's, I, there's absolutely no redeeming qualities to this cigar. No, I mean, no. I guess you want to talk about the even burn, but even, even the label looks fucking generic as hell. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's got like an eagle in front of a damn shield, all purple and. Green. Crappy green color, Dominican Estates. What a generic name. Yeah. God, this, this cigar sucks. Sorry. I, I mean, the manufacturers didn't put anything into this. Honestly, you can kind of tell that. Ugh. This is probably. I mean, <laughs> this is the same factory as um, Casa Magna. Is that right? Yeah. And well, this is like the the shitty leftovers from uh from that cigar because uh, I there's no way it's a uh, close to a 92 rating. This is like all the fucking rejects, like in the like lower like uh, cellar, like basement or whatever. They're like put these guys in like a separate room all together with this like special tobacco and like roll this stuff. They never see the light of day. Like, come on, roll this fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna states. Uh, you know, apparently made by the Manuel Casado, the creator of Casa Magna and uh, Fonseca. Those are good brands, but unfortunately, Dominican Estates just doesn't hit it. Uh, Dominican Tobacco, uh, this is the Toro Natural 6x50, and they started about $1.50 stick. You can get a box of these if you want. We would never pick it up again, but no. Uh, $34.99. Nasty stuff. Very nasty. nasty. Ashtray Graveyard. That's it. I'm done. This is Long Ashes. Punch and nubs, and we smoke the shit, so, so you, you don't, don't have, have to. to. This is shit.